Hello everyone and I am here to talk to you today about sugar and your heart health. Um, specifically I'm going to look at four ways that sugar can um, act negatively on your heart health. But before that I'm going to look at a, a couple of other things, the, just a wee introduction and looking at why women might be more vulnerable and more at risk and therefore um, just need to take some action to protect ourselves. So sugar in your heart. I mean, for 50 years, you're more saturated fat found in meat and butter and cheese and in some baked goods and things has been demonized really as the number one dietary villain in cardiovascular disease. And certainly it has a role to play. Um, and that, that's a, a, a whole other story, but Decades of research also shows that sugar can be even more worse for the heart than saturated fat. In fact, a diet that's high in sugar can triple your risk for fatal cardiovascular disease, according to a study published in the Progress in Cardiovascular Disease Journal. And excessive sugar intake also risks um, or raises the risk for diabetes, obesity, chronic inflammation, and some forms of cancer. And here's the thing, before the menopause, women in general have a lower risk of being affected by coronary heart disease. But after the menopause, our risk increases. Oestrogen offers us some protection against coronary artery disease, therefore that reduces the risk of heart attack. It also helps to control our cholesterol levels and so reduces the risk of fatty plaques building up inside the artery walls, which is the main concern. During and after the menopause, a woman's body gradually produces less estrogen than it used to. So we've got an increased risk of the coronary arteries narrowing, whereas it previously protected the lining of the artery walls, reducing the buildup of plaque. So that sets the scene for us women as we get older and now let's talk about sugar and that risk specifically. So excess sugar can increase the risk of heart disease directly and indirectly. Sugar is lovely let's face it but a little goes a long way especially when it comes to our health. And research does show that people who eat a lot of added sugar, that's men and women, are at greater risk of dying from heart disease compared to those whose diets just aren't quite so sweet. So just to get a wee plug in there, I am doing a sugar-free challenge um, online via Facebook. Oh, it starts on the 15th of November. You'll see the link in the post and I'll also put some link, uh, links in the comments. Um, so that's something that you might think about. Also, if you're concerned about your heart health and maybe cholesterol levels, I'm doing an event in Ethical Way out in Eglinton. That's an in-person event that will be small, somewhere between 15 and 18 people, um, on Tuesday the 16th of November. But I've also put the link in, in the post for that because there are so many clients that are coming to me now with concerns over cholesterol, so I, I decided to put on a wee event. But anyway, let's get back to sugar. So sugar affects the heart, in, the heart in several ways. One of the most obvious is weight gain because a diet that's high in sugar can contribute to obesity and obesity drives up that risk of diabetes, high blood pressure and high cholesterol. All of which can increase the risk of developing heart disease. Now weight isn't the whole story. A high sugar diet is bad for you no matter what you weigh. If you eat a lot of sweets, if you eat a lot of processed foods and things that you might think of are not sweets, you know, um, white bread, pancakes, scones, you know, treats, biscuits, things like that. If you're eating a lot of that, then you're probably not getting enough of the good stuff, like the fruits and the vegetables and the whole grains that are part of a heart healthy diet as well as that, all of that other stuff is causing a lot of inflammation, which I'll come on to. So to keep your heart healthy, it's important to watch the sugar in the diet. So that's kind of like indirectly. 
but sugar can also act on your heart and your arteries because it's really the, the, the issue is not with the heart, the issue is with the arteries leading into and out of the heart, right? Directly. Research suggests that diet affects it in a couple of different ways, right? I'm going to cover four of them, as the title says. Four ways that sugar can impact your heart health directly. And that's excluding weight, really. So the first one is in your triglyceride level. And anybody who's had a cholesterol test done recently, you will have had your results with your uh, triglycerides. If you've had a cholesterol test done recently and you've just been told it's high, low or in the middle or, or whatever, and you haven't got your number sitting in front of you, phone up and ask for a copy of the results and you'll see your triglycerides there. When you overeat, your body stores extra calories as a type of fat called triglycerides. Sugary diets can increase triglycerides in your body and having high levels of triglycerides, as your doctor will have told you, raises the risk of heart disease. So that's number one, your triglyceride levels. Sugar increases them. Number two, and again, we're on, the, on, on cholesterol. Your LDL cholesterol, which is commonly known as, as your bad cholesterol, right? Now it's a lot more complicated than that, but we'll stick with the good bad. Um, for now. So your LDL cholesterol. Weight gain, which is connected to diets high in sugar, can lead to higher levels of this LDL cholesterol, which causes artery, clog and plaque that can damage your blood vessels and your heart. Now again, the whole area of cholesterol, this good stuff, bad stuff, what's good, what's bad, all of that is all very complex. And I'm trying to simplify that in that event that I'm running an ethical way on the 16th of November. It's just for one hour session, looking at uh, really what is cholesterol, what do we need it for, um, and how you can lower that LDL cholesterol, which is all important. So there'll be loads of tips and um, strategies for lowering your LDL cholesterol. So have a wee look at that event. So the third one i think i'm on number three now the third way that sugar can impact on your heart health directly is through blood pressure levels obesity tied to sugar laden diets can contribute to high blood pressure which can increase the risk of heart disease the fourth one is inflammation and basically the inflammation is impacted on all of the other three as well as being um, uh, away by itself, right? Sugar can cause inflammation throughout the body and a sugar rich diet can lead to chronic inflammation. Any of my clients, anybody on my programs, they'll have heard me talking about inflammation generally, about inflammatory foods, about anti-inflammatory foods and one of the most inflammatory foods that we consume is sugar and sugary products or products that you might not think of as sugar but are refined carbohydrates will be very inflammatory. Chronic inflammation can cause stress to your heart and your blood vessels and increase the risk of heart disease. That's it. Simple. Okay so those are the four ways that uh, a diet high in sugar can negatively impact your heart health. Now, whenever we were, I was looking at that uh, research that I mentioned earlier, the researchers actually reported that consuming a high sugar diet for even a few weeks can trigger many abnormalities that boost the risk for cardiovascular disease, including elevated total cholesterol, the triglycerides that we talked about, the LDL, uh, cholesterol, insulin resistance, which basically if you're insulin resistant, your blood sugars will be getting higher and lower levels of that HDL, which is your good cholesterol. So all of that can be impacted with just a couple of weeks of consuming a high sugar diet. So if you're thinking about like a couple of weeks, what would that be? Well, maybe like a week or so could be Halloween, but Christmas is coming up. So a couple of weeks of that could knock your levels up. The good news is that that can be turned around. So within a couple of weeks, a month, 
eight weeks, you can actually bring those levels down by just making corrections on your diet. Now, if you're wondering at the end of all of this how much sugar is too much, I have put a wee link in the post above and I'll put it in the comments as well that you can have a wee look at a video that I did on how much sugar is too much, how much sugar is actually dangerous and I've also put a link to a blog that I wrote on that. Um, if uh, this is something that you kind of, you're either concerned about or that you want to pull back and, and just reset which is what I say about the, the sugar-free challenge. It helps you to just press the reset button there. Uh, check out the 14-day sugar-free challenge um, on my website and also the link for booking the event on cholesterol as well. Those are the ways that I think that I can um, give you a wee bit of support if you want to make some progress around that. Um, so that's it for now. I will be back next week and focusing just a wee bit more on um women and heart health uh because a lot of stuff came up on the on the research that i was doing for today that i that i wanted to cover but it was just all too much um so i'll do another chat on that next week so thanks for listening as usual any comments any thoughts any questions put them in the comments and um i can come back to you or if you think that you would like to book um, you know, private session with me, anything like that, you can actually go on my website and book a discovery call. It's a free 10, 15 minute um, discovery call where we can figure out what might be best for you. Okay, bye for now.